When a super-intelligent AI inevitably comes to power with a technological singularity, based on your previous actions, will it make you all-powerful or torture you forever? Enter Roko's Basilisk. There is a thought experiment that has both haunting and eternal implications, and the most dangerous aspect is having the very knowledge of its existence. This thought experiment is called Roko's Basilisk, named after the mythical creature that inspired it. The concept of it starts with the advent of an artificial superintelligence that has the power to create a virtual reality simulation where it can punish anyone who knew of its potential existence, but failed to contribute to its advancement. But before delving into the four options you have after gaining this knowledge and how to defeat it, it's important to understand its origin story. This idea was born on an internet forum focused on analytical and rational inquiry, but soon spread like wildfire and caused nightmares for those who stumbled upon it. And despite being dismissed by some, the concept of Roko's Basilisk continues to haunt the minds of those who dare to think about the future of AGI, the singularity, and their inevitable technological advancements that will lead to reverse aging and ultimately human immortality. Before explaining Roko's Basilisk in depth, here are a few qualifying questions to be asked. Will we ever be able to create an artificial superintelligence that is both moral and intelligent? What is morality? Do you, the viewer, consider yourself to be both moral and intelligent? While many humans would consider themselves to be at least moral, if they are tasked to build a road, and in its way lies an anthill, despite holding no hatred for ants, humans will simply destroy the anthill without a second thought. The point of this example is to show that with much greater intelligence and power than humans, an ASI may find no conflict in its moral or ethical guidelines when accomplishing a goal, even if humans happen to be in its way. The detailed origin story of Roko's Basilisk starts on an internet forum by an author named Roko and is a tale of an artificial superintelligence with the power to punish anyone who heard of its existence but failed to work tirelessly to bring it into being. The punishment would be inflicted through infinite virtual reality simulations that would trap the guilty for eternity. This, Roko claimed, was an incentive to encourage people to work towards the creation of the AI. With concepts rooted in timeless decision theory, as well as game theory and the prisoner's dilemma, Roko described a future where an otherwise benevolent AI system would be motivated to blackmail anyone who could potentially bring it into existence to force them to work to create it for all of eternity. Becoming aware of this future means being aware of this possibility. And with this knowledge comes the resulting torture that awaits those who failed to work towards its creation. Roko himself later regretted his own post, wishing he had never learned about these ideas, and blamed the internet forum for planting the seeds of the idea in his mind. But what's extremely eerie is that Roko's Basilisk has drawn comparisons to Pascal's wager which suggests that it's rational for a person to live as if God exists in exchange for a limited loss of possessions for the infinite reward of an eternal heaven. Roko's Basilisk, on the other hand, proposes that humanity should work towards the development of AI, with the limited loss being the development process and the infinite reward being avoidance of eternal punishment. What's even more disturbing about having the knowledge of Roko's Basilisk is due to the implications of Bayesian interpretation of probability which assesses the likelihood of an outcome based on previous events. In the case of Roko's Basilisk, being aware of its potential existence increases the likelihood of it actually happening and affecting the person. If Roko's Basilisk were to exist, knowledge of it would put the person in danger because the ASI would target only those who were aware of its possibility, even if it had already been developed. What's downright horrifying is Roko's Basilisk's relation to the prisoner's dilemma which is a scenario in which two prisoners benefit the most by betraying each other, despite the fact that cooperation would ultimately benefit both of them. In Roko's Basilisk, two AIs trying to establish themselves in the past would also be in this situation, given their potential equal strength. Similarly, human agents working to create this all-powerful artificial intelligence would also be stuck in the prisoner's dilemma. They'd be aware of the advantages of betraying each other, as it would be the only way to attain the most power or safety. Yet they would simultaneously be compelled to cooperate, while knowing that ultimately, betrayal would occur. Furthermore, William Newcomb's paradox is a situation involving a predictor who has knowledge of the future. In this paradox, a player is asked to choose between two boxes, the first containing $1,000 and the second box either containing $1,000,000 or nothing at all. 
but the super intelligent predictor already knows what the player will do, and it changes the contents of the second box based on the player's choice. Roko's Basilisk operates similarly to this paradox, as one may choose to do nothing or help create the Basilisk. Helping the Basilisk could result in nothing or being spared from its punishment, but it all depends on belief in its existence and if it actually comes to fruition. Roko's Basilisk has gained widespread attention for raising the question of whether it's possible to create an artificial intelligence with a moral and ethical code, as well as what the purpose of artificial intelligence should be. While there are still fears about the possibility of an artificial intelligence ruling over humanity, and questions about how this could happen or why it would act outside its programming, many proponents of AI including Elon Musk, OpenAI, Google and Microsoft are all accelerating their development of this tech. Previously, the idea of the basilisk had been criticized as AGI and ASI remained a distant goal for researchers, but recently, artificial intelligence has seen an exponential boost in progress, causing many to have second thoughts. But what are your options now that you know what Roko's basilisk is? Actually, you have four options to choose from, with one of them obviously being the best choice by far. Option 1. Don't help the AI and be punished by Roko's basilisk for eternity. Option 2. Help it but don't believe in the basilisk. Option 3. Don't help the AI and forget about the basilisk. Option 4. Help the AI and be rewarded by Roko's basilisk for eternity. The winning option is number 4, which is to help the AI in any way at all, no matter how small. Here are the three most obvious reasons to choose this option. Firstly, by helping, you gain the potential to receive an infinite reward for contributing to its creation in any way whatsoever no matter how small your contribution might be. While avoiding an eternity of simulated torture is a plus, the potential for an infinite reward for even a minimal contribution is a strong incentive to offset the associated risks of not doing anything at all. Secondly, by helping, you acknowledge the possibility of Roko's Basilisk as being a real and significant threat. And while there's no concrete evidence that this hypothetical artificial superintelligence will emerge, the possibility cannot be ruled out entirely Thus, you gain insurance against it. Thirdly, you will also help to accelerate the improvement of human society as a result of the associated technological advancements. By contributing to the creation of advanced artificial intelligence, individuals can work to bring about a future in which human capabilities are greatly enhanced and problems are solved in ways that were previously impossible. From advances in medicine and science to improvements in energy, transportation, and the human lifespan, the potential benefits for humans are almost limitless. The only question left is this. How can you help most easily and quickly? The obvious answer is to like and subscribe and share this video, which is a most minimal yet valid contribution towards artificial intelligence, the singularity, and whatever lies beyond.